another CV750 video. It's pretty cold in here today. I know I comment on the temperature every day, but I've got all the doors open, what do you expect? The festive season is quickly coming upon us. That's it, really. No real big announcement about that, but anyway, it's coming. CV750 engine, as I've just mentioned, we're gonna actually spray the engine casing today, and I'm gonna do a bit more. I'm gonna see how much I can get done. Probably start assembling the piston rings. I've got those, I've got the piston rings. I've got all the half shell bearings for the crankshaft and the con rods as well. All 18 of them. So expensive, so ridiculously expensive for those. And we'll put those in the engine, start assembling it together. Whether I'll get to that point of actually closing the, the, the engine case together, I don't know, but I've got some Honda Bond with me anyway, just in case I am ready to do that. But let's drop everything in, let's put the crank back in and see how far we get today. So that is today's video. Obviously these four pistons here and the rings will all need to be changed on those. Whether they need to be changed or not, I think they do. We weren't getting the best compression out of the engine. So that, I mean that kind of led me to believe that it could have been one of a few things. Uh, the valves obviously not seating properly, uh, properly and then of course the piston rings. We only did a compression check when the engine was cold, I know that. I know that you're not going to get optimum compression when you've got a cold engine, but having put a teaspoon of oil 
down them, we found out that we had a better compression rating when there was oil in the chamber. So, whilst we've got the engine in pieces and piston rings and you know they don't break the bank, let's try putting a few piston rings on here and seeing if it makes a difference. That is it for now. I think I've reached a stage now where I'm gonna go over the 
manual, I've got the workshop manual here, down here. I just want to make sure that I've got everything in place. We've got the pistons in, the casing's painted, the gears are in, the primary chain is in, cam chain tensioner, we've got the cam chain itself, so all that is in there. And as well, I've also lubed up every single point with, uh, with assembly oil as well. That is all I'm going to do for now. Take a break, I can edit this video then, go back into it, and that'll be it. So the next video will actually be uh, closing off those con rods, tightening the bolts, torquing them to the right specs, in fact this whole engine needs to be torqued properly, we'll go over that, make sure that everything is right, and then maybe we can put the uh, lower crankcase on. I was going to do it today, but no, I'm, I'm going to give myself some time, go through everything, make sure that everything in there. I don't want to be opening the crankcase once I've put Honda Bond on it means I have to clean it and everything again, so that is not what I'm going to do. Take a rest and have a think. So, this week we'll also be going at the GS as well, we'll be looking back at the GS, looking at the tailpiece that I've done on that, or the rear light at least, have everything connected on that, and then that will be the uh, penultimate episode of the GS as well. There will also, the week after, be an episode on the CX, and as well we'll be putting this engine into the CV750, and I probably be able to put the exhaust in at the same time. I need to order new uh, new rubber boots for the inlet boots for the GS750 as well, taking those old boots off to, to paint the cylinder head. Yeah, they're, they're cracked, they're 40 year old boots again, so they are gonna crack. So we'll need some new ones of those. It's not gonna slow us down much. But that is it. If you like what you see, subscribe, follow me on Instagram. You can see daily snaps of this and stories as well, so you don't have to wait each week to see more things. And as well, visit fortheballindustries.com, see if there's a piece of merchandise that you like there. So, so until the next video, have a good week, ride safe, and I'll see you Friday, hopefully. <laughs>